You let me know when you're ready. Oh, uh, really? All right, y'all, welcome back to another video, man. You already know it's your boy Sam, a master and a man. Today we're doing a kind of like a leg day, I think. Um, I really haven't looked at the workout yet. But today we're also answering some of your most asked questions. I did a poll on Instagram, so if you haven't already, follow my Instagram at Master and a Man. Um, and we're gonna answer some of these questions as we work out, just about like fitness, working out, and a lot of questions that a lot of people have as beginners. Um, so we're gonna start with, is working out in the morning better for you? Now, there is no ideal time for working out, but the thing about working out is you wanna be consistent and you wanna do something that fits your lifestyle. So for me, I work a nine to five, so it's easier for me to go ahead and do a workout in the morning, and then that way I have the whole rest of the evening to work and do editing and stuff like that, and I have the rest of my night to do that. Now, if I was doing my workouts at night, then I would kind of miss out on that early morning time. Um, so by waking up at four, I get here at five, work out for a couple hours, get some time, load up my footage, get some time to work, and then at the end of the day, I can spend that time editing, kind of relaxing, and getting ready for the next day. So there is no ideal time, but you gotta do what works for you and your lifestyle and helps you be consistent. So like I said, today we got legs. And it's probably like a little bit of full body. Let's just see. I told you guys, I use the Beastly app. Um, we're doing three sets of 11. Um, we're gonna do a working set of 220. So we're gonna kind of warm up and get up there. And then we have a couple super sets and then we'll get out of here, man. So it won't be too long, but throughout the whole workout, I'll be answering questions that you guys submitted and just providing you guys a little bit more value. So you already know, keep mastering, man. Tell y'all, tell y'all about the drip, y'all already know the Master and the Man Forever hoodie. The most endurable hoodie ever, masterandtheman.com. And we also want to shout out Speak Positive, Dream Big. It's an affirmations company, clothing retail. Got the socks, Speak Positive, Dream Big socks. Uh, it's all about living intentionally, man. And even having good messages, what you're listening to, good messages, what you're wearing. Just positivity and gratitude and just coming out here mastering, man. So. That's the second set. We're gonna go up to 225 for our working set. Y'all, if the camera gets shaky, it's cause Eddie's working today, y'all. <laughs> and y'all know, we got the Forever T. This is the black on black, black on black logo. I got this in white too, so make sure y'all check it out, masterintheman.com. Uh, sorry, y'all, so we, we're going back. We're about to hit our working set for the first set. Um, the second question we got today is, should I approach my sessions with a plan? Uh, if you don't plan, you plan to fail. That's just as simple as that. So for me, I like structure. I like knowing what I'm doing. And if you really want to see results, it's better to plan. It's better to have a, a plan of attack because now you can track your progress. But if you're just coming in every day and you're kind of winging it, then you're not really going to see the results that you want to see. Yes, you're getting a workout. Yes, you might feel it, but you're not going to steadily progress. So. The thing about working out is you want to do progressive overload and progressive overload means you kind of progress over time. So each week, maybe you're going up two pounds, maybe you're going up five pounds. So you definitely want to have a plan or some type of structure to your workout, depending on what your goal is. So yes, you have to set goals. They got to be smart goals. If you don't know what smart goals are, look it up. Um, but yeah, you got to have a plan of attack, man. You can't just come in here and, and wing this shit or you're going to be in a never ending circle. So two, 225, we're gonna go for 11. Eddie trying to kill me today. Um, hopefully we get this in and get it in, man. So, got to gotta, gotta set your watch, man. Gotta set your watch. Three, two, one. Gotta set your watch. Go for 11, man, let's get it.
the creator's clove. Toes, toes started cramping. <laughs> Woo! Working. Woo! All right. So question number three that I got. Again, follow my Instagram if you're not. Do I need to work out every day? Now, no. You don't need to work out every day. You can really probably work out three to four days a week if you're like, killing it and I mean like giving it your all probably three four days a week but you should be as active as possible every day so one little rule that I like to use is 10k steps a day if you're able to get 10k steps a day that's a pretty active day um, it should help with like maintaining your weight it should help with maintaining hunger muscle mass and stuff like that so 10k a day if you if you're just trying to be active as far as working out fitness training really maxing it out Three to four times a week is gonna be enough for the most part, man. Um, you don't have to do anything too crazy, but be active every day, for sure. Man, Whew, it's tough. All right, let's see, let's get another question. I'm still trying to figure this out, man. Um, how long do I need to work out for? So, again, that goes back to fitting your lifestyle and what's gonna help you be consistent. Say you only have 30 minutes, there's 30 minute hits, there's 10 minute hits. A hit workout, if you're short on time, is gonna help that body burn a lot of calories. If you have more time, like we do, you wanna do an hour, that's gonna be a warm up, um, cool down, the actual work, rest time. So for extreme strength training, maybe one to two hours. Um, if you're really, really training, but you only need about 30 minutes. And that's for like quick hit, burn those calories out. So nothing too crazy. Don't overdo it. Trust yourself, listen to your body. Again, it's about being consistent, not being perfect. So whatever helps you be consistent and keep coming back. That's what you wanna do. All right, y'all, what's going on, man? We got second workout. It's gonna be a superset of dumbbell shoulder press mixed with a lat pull down. We'll try to get a lat pull down if we can, um, but we're gonna superset this three sets of 12 for each one. For dumbbell shoulder press, we're gonna do a working set at 85. Uh, somebody has the 85, so we might go up, but lat pull down, we're gonna to try to do 135. Three sets of 12. Um, but I want to answer one more question for y'all. So, do I need to vary my workouts to see results? The answer to that is going to be yes. Uh, your body is real adaptive to what you're doing. So, you don't want to consistently do the same things over and over because your body is going to adapt to that and you're not going to see the exact results that you want to see. So, the answer to that is going to be yes. Um, I would vary everything about every 90 days. I would try to throw something in new just to shock your body. Uh, but really, again, that's all gonna be contributing to whatever goals you have. For me, I'm cutting. So I added a day where I'm gonna basically do a full body and I'm just gonna do a shit ton of reps. Um, and that's just gonna shock my body from doing the monotonous three sets of this, three sets of this. I'm just gonna kind of burn out my whole body in a day and kind of just shock the body and then restart the plan again. Um, but yeah, the answer to that is gonna be yes. You wanna vary your workouts. And how do I get a six pack? So the, like, you can't get a six pack. You could do a thousand sit-ups a day and you're not gonna have a six pack. The key to a six pack is to burn it. So everybody has a six pack. Um, you have the abdominal muscles as part of your anatomy. The thing is, most of us have a layer of fat over it. So what you wanna do is you wanna drop your body fat. The lower your body fat percentage, the more the abdominals will show. Um, so most of that's gonna happen in the kitchen, man. So they say abs are made in the kitchen. It's 90% of it is gonna be your diet. Working out builds muscle. Nutrition burns fat. So the more nutritious your diet is, the more your fat is gonna burn off and you'll be able to see those abs. That's what we're working on right now. We don't got them yet, but you guys will see them in the summer. And I won't have a shirt on. I won't own a shirt in the summer, man. So we're claiming it. We're, we're claiming it already. Uh, and then, yeah, let's get into it, man. So let's work up.
Yeah, we're gonna be working up. Hopefully 85. Watch it. All right, y'all, come on. Whew. Two sets of 12, it's 85. You guys will probably know my routine right now. I always take three deep breaths before I go into the work, so.
the night I was born, the rain was pouring. God was crying, lightning struck, power outage, sparks was flying.